Mr. Ollivander, I need to ask you a few questions. Anything, my boy, anything. Would you mind identifying this wand? We need to know if it's safe to use. Uh, walnut? Dragon heart string? Twelve and three quarter inches? belonged to Bellatrix Lestrange, treated carefully. And this? Hawthorn. And the unicorn hair. Ten inches. Reasonably pliant. This was the wand of Draco Malfoy. Was. Is it not still? Well, perhaps not, if you won it from him. I sense his allegiance has changed. You talk about wands as if they have feelings. You can think. chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. That much has always been clear to those of us who have studied wand law. And what do you know about the Deathly Hallows? It is rumoured there are three. The Elder Wand, the Cloak of Invisibility, to hide you from your enemies, and the Resurrection Stone to bring back loved ones from the dead. Together, they make one the master of death. But few truly believe that such objects exist. Do you? Do you believe they exist, sir? Well, I see no reason to put Stark into an old wife's tale? You're lying. You know one exists. You told him about it. You told him about the Elder Wand and where he could go looking for it. He tortured me. Besides, I only conveyed rumors there's, there's no telling whether he will find it. He has found it, sir. We'll let you rest. He's after you, Mr. Potter. If it's true, what you say, and he has the Elder Wand, Afraid? You really don't stand a chance. Well, I suppose I'll have to kill him before he finds me then. <laughs>